on this week's lead out keeping promises special days and iconic fan clubs But first, it's not unusual to have team mascots, but what is unusual is the amount of sheep starting to take on the role. It's a signing we picked up, but it was an awkward time in the season, but we got him on board just for the tour. Uh, Peloton the sheep, he's actually a gift from the Grand Day Park committee. I'm not sure the, the exact name of that, but we got him at the, the start of the tour, and we're taking him around with us, and then we'll uh, give him to a fan at the end. And is he being well looked after? What's he been up to? It's been in quarantine, actually, because if somebody gets sick on the team, we just have to, like, we have to quarantine them, send them ahead to the next hotel. And um, he spent a couple days in the, van, in the van that goes to the finish, just uh, resting up and making sure that we all stay healthy. He's feeling much better now, though, as you can see. And now he's not actually the only sheep on tour. No, he's, he's just, he's the little sheep that could, frankly. He's uh, much smaller than the other sheep here. And we should say, the other sheep came first, it was uh, Trek. Trek has Herman the sheep, much larger, much more of a presence. Peloton's a little bit more behind the scenes, but as you can see, he's a he's out here today. It's not uncommon for a DS to make promises to help motivate the team for a stage win during the tour, and for I Am Cycling's Lionel Marie, it meant a haircut of sorts. I said before, a few few days ago, I said the first guy who will win, he can cut my hair. So yesterday it's happened. During the dinner, Fontano was uh, laughing and all the team also, but uh, no problem. Jarlison is a special guy, he's always happy, always smiling. And um, the, first, the first week was not that good, but he, he was uh, very focused on that stage, so everything went well. So it's happened not so often in cycling, so we were all happy. If we can win another stage, I, I have to think about what they can cut again. You have to be very, very careful, I think. Yeah, yeah, because Sandre show, show us uh, right now, if he finishes third, he's close to win, so I, I start to be afraid. Next time they, they said they want to do a tattoo, so I'm, I, I'm very afraid. I don't know. Which rider would you trust most to do a tattoo? Perhaps Sandre is also an artist, so we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it can be a good thing. For the African team dimension data, the Tour de France has been a great success already and much of that is attributed to their first tour stage win one year ago. Last year when Steve won on this on this stage and, and became our first ever stage winner in the Tour de France for our you know the, our first ever participation in the Tour de France, it was special. You know, winning a stage is special and winning it on Mandela Day, you know, just takes that to another level. And you know, last year's stage defined us and so today we try and you know do something again and, and do something really, really special. Can you tell us what Mandela Day is for people who are not South Africans? No, I mean, Mandela is a, was an incredible human being that united a nation and did something that was completely, you know, out of the ordinary. And uh, I think that's what this team has done as well. We've united the continent of, uh, of riders that are multicultural, multidiverse, and, and have been incredibly successful and learned from it and, and gone into a sport that where African cycling didn't exist before and punched way above its weight. And, of course, about overcoming adversity, which I believe is also something the team had to do last year as well. No, absolutely. I mean, last year on that day, we were so nervous. It was such a big day for us. And, you know, our bus driver and, the, and our bus nearly went off a cliff and it was up a narrow road and we got to the start really, really late. And the riders had little time to prepare and get ready for the stage and, and we still won. For fan clubs, watching their favoured rider at the Tour is a dream come true. But for Fabian Cancellara's fan club, it's bittersweet, as it's his last. So we are 250 uh, all around the streets down here, 40 people up here. We build up a 300 square metre banner, a big heart with uh, the words, letters, thank you Fabian. And uh, the people who are up here, they, they want to wave the flags and uh, cheer for Fabian. And what are you going to do next year when Fabian stops cycling? Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of a uh, lot of holidays. So uh, because during the year, almost uh, every holiday week is is going for uh, following Fabian. Uh, we have many friends in Belgium. So next year we're gonna back uh, at the at the Quadamont, have an amazing party, and it would be the first year that Fabian will join us because he don't have to ride.